What's up, everybody? It's your man, Sergey the DJ, SergeyTheDJ.com, Sergey the DJ on Instagram. And today, I want to talk to you real quick about the 43-inch TX TCL 4K television. Uh, just picked this thing up from Best Buy. Uh, I'm actually going to be using it alongside my 360 video booth. So we're just getting it all set up, putting the Apple TV on it and everything so that my uh, clients who book the 360 video booth can have a uh, live view from the TV. They can see what's going on on the TV. Uh, so anyway, pick this thing up. And um, like I said, I actually, oops, sorry, I got the storage full um, notification, but I'm going to show you here on the back. So uh, on the back, I got everything set up, um, installed a um, surge protector here, power to the TV, power to an Apple TV that you see is stuck on by Velcro right here on the back of the TV, HDMI 4K into uh, the side inputs here uh, that may show, may not. Uh, so yeah, got everything running. And um, once I turn the TV on and I'll show you guys the box, this is the box here. Like I said, just picked it up at Best Buy. It cost me about, uh, I wanna say about 200 and, or 330 bucks, um, 43 inch. And so um, I'm here and I grabbed my Apple TV remote. Cause as you know, when you get an Apple TV, you gotta like set it up. And so, um, you know, I'm setting up everything. And I know that sometimes Android, you know, beefs out with Apple and I don't know, maybe they got some kind of internal beefs that they like to play in the, on the cyber side or whatever. But I'm like, I'm trying to set this up and this stupid notification keeps popping up from TCL. So there's also a TCL TV remote. And I'm like, all right, well, then I'll just hit the back button. Boom. And it goes away. Right. Well, if you watch a couple seconds later, pick up my Apple TV remote to get back to signing in with my login or whatever. I guess I'm technically giving you all my information, but good luck with my password. Um, so continue with my login information. And as soon as I do that, I, it's not doing it now. Of course, it doesn't do it now. The video is being recorded, but that stupid notification thing just pops right back. There it goes. So it just pops back up um, in the middle of me doing all my stuff. I'm like, crap, I can't see the A. And so it was super annoying. I didn't see any videos on YouTube on how to fix it. Um, and so I looked through the settings, saw one kid's video and it was kind of close, but not really. So I figured I'd make a video, uh, to share with you who have this TV, the TCL, uh, 43, 4k. Um, let's see if the model number's down here. Yeah, there we go. Model 43 S 434. Uh, for those of you who have that model, it's an Android TV. I'm going to show you how to get this stupid notification off of here so the first thing you do you're going to grab your remote remote looks just like this okay what we're going to do is go to settings and what happened is inside our settings i'm just going to go to that little gear button inside our settings here they have you're going to go to system and you're going to go down to the bottom and it's going to ask you for the environment now when when i first you know, I guess I was just clicking a little too fast. When I first set this up, it asked me for the environment and it asked for store or home. Now, if you have it set to store, it's going to do that stupid thing. Because just like if you're at Best Buy, it's like showing you all the information about the TV, pick me, pick me kind of thing. But if you set this back to home or set this to home, that will go away. Now the TV knows, hey, this is being viewed at home, not at the store. The TV is not being sold. It's already been sold. So... That is the setting to turn that stupid notification off. And now I'm gonna to continue to setting this up so that uh, I can get this 360 video booth in motion with some live view. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Again, sergeythedj.com, sergeythedj on Instagram. Uh, if you found this helpful, of course, it's helpful. If you would like, share, subscribe, uh, leave comments, let me know if you guys have anything quicker, any other tips, tricks, hacks for DJ living. Anyway, until then, y'all have a great day. Peace.